I was telling everybody about the wedding and my plans. You mean just people on the street? <laughs> everybody! Storekeepers, the monkey and monkey man, the soldier. It's all about Frankie and her plans to find this we of me. Her plans include uh, making preparations and leaving her uh, house to go with the bride and the groom. This coming Sunday when my brother and the bride leave this town, I'm going with them to win a hill. And after that, to whatever place they will ever go! She's decided that that is who she belongs with. She's dissatisfied with the world around her. She wants change. She has a, a huge identity crisis. She doesn't know where she fits and she will do anything she can to find some place or some group to belong. I've been wishing for things all my life. I ain't been getting. Berenice has uh, been employed by the Adams family for 12 years. In fact, uh, she's been there from the very day that Frankie was born. And this is the Lord. And as she has been a very important part of the family, not only as the housekeeper, uh, the cook, but she's also been a mentor to Frankie, a sort of a mother figure as well. You think you go march up to that preacher right in between your brother and the bride? He's a seven-year-old boy. In the book, he's six. And he just generally thinks everything is so cute. And his sister gave him this doll that he later in the show, he names Lily Bell. Then they start talking about the freaks at the fair that they saw last October. Oh, the freaks at the fair! And he just starts going on and on about this one little pinhead that he saw that he thought was the cutest thing ever. No, I didn't think she was cute. Who was that he's talking about? That little old pinhead at the fair. <laughs> A head no bigger than an orange and hell. I love the storytelling scene where um, Bernice talks about all of her husbands, and Frankie interjects with kind of the parts that she knows. Why, Jamie Beal. Big old no good Jamie Beal. It was the first time I ever laid eyes on him. <laughs> Is that why you married him? Because he had a masked thumb like Ludie's? The Lord knows, cause I don't. <laughs> and then the act ends with the song that she sings, and it's such a beautiful moment. And in the book, it's a really important scene. His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. So I sing because. Frankie, you got the sharpest set of bones I ever 